past week, we have seen a welcome slowing in some that you have coronavirus, but uh, but if you have a positive coronavirus test and you which we're very grateful to see evidence uh, around this. Um, I first everyone a very nice uh, weekend and uh, see you see you next week. meeting of the G20 countries expressed strong support for Africa, which must be expedited even though the numbers in Africa are still relatively small, but accelerating. I know that we are particularly concerned by the large number of infections reported among health workers. In some countries, there are reports of up to 10% of health workers being infected. This is an alarming trend. When health workers are at risk, we are all at risk. In, in hospitals, again, as we are dealing with the, uh, the, the, the ongoing situation in Congo, uh, at one point during the outbreak of uh, Ebola in Beni, at one of the most intense periods in the outbreak, nearly 70% of the cases were actually being transmitted within the healthcare system. So it shouldn't be a surprise to us with MERS, with SARS, uh, with Ebola, that the healthcare environment is an environment in which people can be saved and treated, but it is also an environment in which viruses and other things are present.